This is the voice of the scarab, Wilson. I command you to drive your tower over the cliff. The scarab is speaking to you, heavens. You have reached the end. You will walk to the window and step out. Into eternity. Jackson, well-known attorney, is another link in the chain of mysterious crimes known as the Purple Death Murders. In each case, a subtle unknown poison has been found in the bloodstream of the dead man, and each victim clutched in his hand a jeweled scarab. The scarab, ironically, was the symbol of eternal life among the ancients. It is significant that all of the murdered men were actively or financially connected with the recent scientific expedition into the ancient Mayan ruins of Central America. The authorities are completely baffled, and the mayor has called District Attorney Grant Gardner to appear before a meeting in the office of Police Commissioner Dryden. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Uh, and how are you, Commissioner? Hello, Grant. The Commissioner's been alibying his failure to turn up anything in these Purple Death murders. What are your excuses, Mr. Gardner? I don't make excuses, but I do have a definite plan. And that is? I'd rather not discuss it now. You'll have to be patient. You remember the Commissioner and I have cleaned up crime waves in this town before. Yes, but that mysterious Captain America did most of your work for you. We could only contact him now. I feel certain that this new crime wave will bring him out of hiding to help us. Mm. And I hope so. We're up against a new type of scientific criminal. One that we'll never find in the usual haunts of crime. I tell you, Dr. Maldo, there's a curse on everyone connected with that Mayan expedition. Jackson's gone, and Wilson, and Evans. Why, well, you or I may be the next victim of the scarab's purple death. My dear Professor Lyman, you're overexcited. Calm yourself. Here, have a cigar. Thank you. Sit down, Professor, sit down. If there is an ancient curse upon us, this scarab who invokes it must be peculiarly mercenary. These men you have named are known to have withdrawn large sums of money from their banks just prior to their deaths. That's true. But I am not wealthy. Ah, but the scarab wants other things. Rare jewels, paintings, antiques. He also wants scientific secrets such as you possess. Just what do you mean? The scarab wants the plans of the thermodynamic vibration engine which you have invented. How did you find out about my vibrator? The scarab has his own methods of obtaining information. You, the scarab? Yes. I'm the scarab. It is my vengeance which is striking at all of you. It was my expedition. I uncovered the secret information and laid the plans which made it successful. And how was I rewarded? I was made the curator of an insignificant museum. While the rest of you received the fame and wealth that should have come to me. You can't touch that phone. Sit down. For the short time you have to live, your mind is completely under my control. You must obey my commands. You are a slave of the Purple Death. Purple Death? But how? The fumes from this cigar. I want to know more about the vibrator. It is a device for harnessing light and sound waves into a powerful force 
which will disintegrate any known material. That could be used by me as a powerful weapon of destruction. Yes. Splendid. Where are the plans? At home. In the safe. Write down the combination. Take Professor Lyman out. He will obey your final instructions. Yes. Step this way, Professor. Farewell, Lyman. We'll find the plans in Lyman's safe. Here's the combination. Take these purple death bombs with you. They'll be silent and effective weapons if anyone interferes. Yes, sir. This is what we're after. Just a minute. Throw your gun in a corner. You too. Commissioner Dryden speaking. This is Captain America. What's that? Where are you? Never mind that. Professor Lyman's life is in danger. Professor Lyman is dead. He stepped off a curb in front of a truck. Another purple death accident. Well, at least I've accounted for one of the gang. You'll find his body at Professor Lyman's house. That's all. Get me the district attorney's office. Office of the District Attorney, Gail Richards speaking. Let me speak to the DA. Mr. Gardner isn't here now, Commissioner, but I expect to hear from him shortly. Well, tell him that Captain America's on the job. He just killed one of the Purple Death murderers. I'll tell him. I'm calling Captain America. Come in, Gail. Commissioner Dryden just told me the news. Do you need any help? I will as soon as I get back to the office. Have Davis there. I have an important clue for him to analyze. Right. He'll be here. This stuff is distilled from the cypridium, a little known orchid. Highly concentrated, its fumes form a deadly poison which leave those purple splotches on the victim's face. Careful, don't drop it. Is it that dangerous? It surely is. One whip is enough. Do florists have this cypridium plant? A few might. It's very rare. Fine. We'll trick the guilty one into showing his hand. Gail? You and I will visit the dealers of rare flowers in the morning. I'm Gail Richards from the district attorney's office. Yes, Miss Richards. We're trying to identify the plant from which this liquid was extracted. It may help in a criminal investigation. Do 
Sorry, I can't identify it. Thank you. No, I, I don't recognize it. Thank you very much. I help you, miss? I'm from the district attorney's office. I have a plan extract which we're trying to identify with a murder investigation. I'm sorry, miss. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Oh, oh no! I see you do know what the Purple Death Bomb is. You fooled me, all right, but it isn't going to do you any good. Get in there. Don't talk. Move. Well, this dame's wise to our setup. Turn around here. Tie her up. office just came in. She had one of our purple death bombs and tricked me into showing my hand. What'll I do with her? You have plenty of the extract? Use it. Richards. Get on the other side of the room. This contains a purple death. Drop that gun or we'll all die. action of Grant Gardner, the district attorney, has exposed the source of the purple death poison. The cypridium orchid from which it was derived will be destroyed wherever found. Mr. Gardner is conducting a searching investigation into the affairs and acquaintances of Professor Lyman, latest victim of the poison. I have just come from the district attorney's office. He's questioning all the survivors of the main expedition. He doesn't suspect us. No. But we have something else to worry about. We are not the only ones who know the secret of Lyman's dynamic vibrator. Is there another set of plans? No. Worse than that. There's a working model which Lyman and his assistant Gregory constructed at Professor Dodge's laboratory. The district attorney is taking some technicians there tonight to see a demonstration and learn all about it. But if they learn how it works, then my secret weapon will no longer be a secret and someone will ultimately devise another machine to counteract it. Therefore, the model and Gregory must be destroyed tonight. That won't be difficult. The directions with these plans show how to step up the power of the machine so high that it will destroy itself, along with the building and everyone in it. But suppose Captain America is on the job again? We know that Captain America gets information through the office of the district attorney. All I need do is to give the district attorney a tip about the scarab that will send Captain America off on a false scent. And that I have arranged to do tonight. This is Eddie, Mr. Gardner. 
I've got a hot tip on those purple death killings. Can you come over? I'm afraid to leave here. Where are you? A 204 in the arcade rooming house. All right. I'll be right over. What's he got? A tip on the scarab. I'll have to see him. I don't like it, Grant. It might be a trap. Don't worry. I'll be careful. I'll phone Gregory that you're bringing the technical men. Go ahead with the demonstration, and I'll be there as soon as I've seen Eddie. Well, your phone call worked, all right. Here comes Captain America. But I phoned the DA. That's right. And Captain America shows up as we expected. Well, you served your purpose, Eddie. Come in. Come on in. name. Stop the, the two bullets left. Yes, I'll hit one presently. Wait, wait, I'll talk. His name is Maxim. Keep talking. He wanted to get you out of the way. They're, they're pulling a big job at the office of a guy named Dodge. I don't know what it's all about. Well, I do. Good evening, Mr. Richards. Mr. Merritt and Mr. Norden are here to witness your demonstration of the vibrator. Oh, yes, the DA telephoned me. I'm glad you came. I alone know the secret of this machine, and it's a heavy responsibility. So, uh, come this way, please. I'll show you how the machine works, and then I'll explain its construction. In a few minutes, we'll have generated sufficient power to destroy this miniature structure. Now, if you'll uh, step this way, you will see the result of the demonstration. were stolen from Professor Lyman, they contained instructions for stepping up the machine's power to 100 million volts. A force that would shatter a 20-story building like an eggshell. Gregory is right, gentlemen. We have directions here and we'll give you a demonstration of what this machine can do to this building. Now the first one who starts anything gets it. Set the control panel. You can't get away with this. Now get into the other room, all of you. Before we wreck this building, I want all of Professor Dodge's papers. Open that vault. I said open that vault. Get him. Get 
Get in the vault, all of you. This is murder. That's right, wholesale murder. All set. Start it up. I'll get the car ready for our getaway. Now don't leave until you're sure the machine is running okay. Right. If that machine builds up to its full power, this building will collapse in a cloud of dust. Captain America. What's happening in there? Get over there. Get out, I'll try to stop it. 